Well, this new project, E54, is um, it's a little bit different from the normal projects that I put out. The, uh, the crown, my Crown Jewels 3 and uh, my other Crown Jewels uh, beat tapes that I put out. Um, this project is a little bit more experimental. It's a little bit more vibey, chill type. I kind of uh, wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, so that this one fits a little bit more of a chill, relaxed type mood. And you kind of, you know, people are in the mood to listen to it a little bit more than, let's say, Crown Jewels 3 or something like that, where it's more raw and upbeat and in your face. This one is kind of a little bit more chill and vibe type. So I wanted to have something like that in my catalog for my supporters to check out and listen to. So that's really what inspired me to come up with uh, East 54. Um, I would have to say my favorite two, I got two favorite tracks on there, Summer Sap and Amber Night. Um, I, I really think that was the, the sound of the project that I really was trying to go for. So those are my two favorite joints on the project. Um, the artwork is done by my homeboy, Daniel Main. Um, he reached out to me uh, probably around April sometime after I put out Crown Jewel 3. And um, I told him we were going to get up and we were going to work together. So when I finally got the concept for uh, East 54th, I was like, yo, I reached out to him. I showed him what my vision was. And he drew it down like to the T, you know what I mean? So big shout out to Daniel. I appreciate it, man. Well, East 54th is, uh, is a collaboration uh, effort with me and my homegirl, uh, L.D. Henriquez. She's a spoken word artist out of the U.K. Um, she did a poem for the project, and it's based off her experiences in New York. And I wanted to come up with the name that kind of, you know, that kind of went with it. And I was struggling trying to come up with something. And um, I was just like, man, let me just try a street, you know, street name in New York. And East 54th was just like the first idea that came to mind. And I was like, I'm not even going to try to, you know, struggle and think of anything else. I'm like, that, that it just came off the top. And that's what it was. So that's what I went with East 54th. Hi, my name is LD Henriquez. Most friends of mine called King Leach Alive, he's a rapper. Um, we used to perform at the same event and he had sent me some beats to collaborate on, I think, last summer. Um, they were both King Leach Alive beats, I didn't learn them at the time. We didn't end up doing a collaboration, but it's still in the cards. And um, I think a year or so later, a friend of mine recommended a song called Smart Black Boy. And she said, oh, it's my friend Tex, you need to listen to it. So I listened to it and I loved it. Um, I asked about the production and it was King Lad's Brian. So I found him on Facebook and we started talking about it then. Um, I went to New York in June for the first time with a friend of mine. And um, while I was there, I linked up with King Lad's Brian and we chilled and we shared in New York. And I think it just, the whole vibe of New York just inspired me, like the pace and the culture and just everything about it. So, I mean, before we had got there, we had spoken, me and King Light Divine had spoken about possibly doing an EP together because he wanted to spoken by the artist on it. And then when we got there, I think I just saw New York, was taken by the whole vibe of it and then decided to write a poem about it. And that's the poem that kind of gels the whole EP together. Um, I'd say it's innovative, I'd say it's hip hop, and I'd say it's a taste of what's to come. In reference to innovative, because it's different to what he puts out production wise, most of the time. Um, it's more original music as opposed to samples, which he's very good at also. Um, the fact that it's it features poetry and spoken words. The theme of it, the fact that it's based on New York, it tells more of a story and it's more of an experience. I'd say hip hop because it's just hip hop. Um, hip hop in terms of the beats, in terms of the vibe, it's just, and that's what he personifies. So I'd definitely say hip hop. Definitely think of lovers. And I'd say a taste of what's to come because we plan on having many more collaborations. We plan on doing many more videos. You know, I plan on putting out a lot more stuff that features him on it and vice versa. 
So, um, what's the taste of what's to come? Buy the EP. Buy the EP. It will be on um, iTunes. Share it as much as possible. You know, get it out there. Um, and it wouldn't. It's not only for hip hop heads. It's for anyone that loves music. There's a great, you know, diverse range on there. Music on there. Poetry lovers, everybody. So spread it. Look out for him. He has some more projects coming out. Look out for me. I have some more poetry videos and collaborations coming out. And by the EP.